Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Cowboy Bebop episode number 9 and 10. Okay, uh, episode number 8, that is the previous episode was like one of the saddest episodes of this anime. And uh, like, it was more sad because I was not expecting something like that happening. Like, uh, in a lot of animes and a lot of like shows, you can like uh, there's a lot of cases where you can like predict like some bad stuff is going to happen to one of the characters so, like one of your loved characters or something like that like you can predict it and like thinking about it properly that like in episode number eight i should have like predicted something like that happening but i was not like i was swept up in the moments and i was like so happy for him like he was able to uh like uh, defeat the first enemy himself and I overlooked the factor that it was like in the middle of a battlefield and he was like standing there in the middle of a gun uh, fight. So that like suddenly came like uh, the death came in like suddenly and I like uh, understood and realized that yeah like this is something that could have happened and it happened. That is the character died and that made it like more sad like if you can like at least predict like someone is going to die or something you are like at least uh, prepared for the upcoming death whenever it comes uh, in anime but this like took me be uh, took me by surprise and like uh, the like and the, the thing like it, it like the sadness magnifies because obviously it was like a moment where he was happy and we were all happy for him he was able to like do uh, like exactly how spike has told him to and like defeated the first enemy that was like uh, like he was kind of like a coward but that was like the first step he took uh, but like after that it suddenly happened like that makes it like more sadder so yeah anyways guys so uh, let's get started with this uh, episode uh, this is episode number nine and 10 so without further ado guys let's get started okay i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go okay we're almost like uh uh what can i say one third uh like we've fin almost finished like one third of the episodes this is the ninth episode so yeah almost like one third And we still have not gotten to see the third character like uh, there's I'm thinking like I'm guessing like there's another character yeah there are four of them it's, as it is seen in the opening so we'll probably get to see the character either in this or the next episode I don't know hmm what is this a robot Oh, a, a satellite. A satellites. Oh, what the? Is it like writing something? Like some kind of... In the sand? Oh no, that's not... Yeah. Uh, these are the... Th oh, wow. Jamming with Edward. Okay. Yeah, this this is a guy. It's a guy, isn't it? Yeah, it's a guy. Uh, 
rock showers. I'm guessing he is like uh, a technical guy, like some kind of mechanic or something. Bebop, vacation. Oh, they, like he knows them. Oh, what the? Wait, what? What the hell? Wait, it just said. Yeah, like it just said, like, like there were no chance of. Mysterious land painting, yeah, those. Oh. Hmm. Aliens. No. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the aliens hacked it? Or maybe the aliens hacked it? <laughs> Who knows? Wow! The guy's like, who did I invite to talk? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Um, stereotyping. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh. Okay, so Damn Okay, so like people are underground living underground on the earth Okay. And it crashed. Up. Oh, what the? Oh, so this. So I was correct like this guy is more like a technical kind of guy like or a hacker yeah so wow 
controlling a whole spaceship with rem like <laughs> remote control <laughs> controller oh my god <laughs> Oh no. Hmm. So like Spike is going to chill in the spaceship I'm guessing? Yeah. Spike and I. Oh, I'm guessing this is like hacking. Yeah, it's Edward, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Okay, well, oh, a lot of them. Hmm. Basketball player. She? Wait a minute. That's a girl? Like, what? Okay, okay, so it's more like no one knows. Yeah, okay, this guy's saying he. So it's like no one knows like who he or she is. Okay, so he... Yoko. Okay. Okay, so he, he is a guy. I, I like uh, the person who said she was uh, like mistaken. Okay, well, that's hacking. Only between satellites. Oh. Oh, so is it more like the AI or is like getting going like berserk or something? I think it's more like that, like the AI or something that is like used for the satellites are like malfunctioning or something. Yeah, it is an like um, artificial intelligence AI. MPU. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a mouthful. The hell is that? <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Rumors.
Yeah, definitely. Like now. <laughs> yeah. Is this really an AI? Doesn't sound like a. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh. Well, Edward is hacking. <laughs> yeah. Um AI Um, give and take, I'm guessing. Yes, I've been... Yeah, as, as I said. Well, you won't get in bounty, that's it. Uh, I don't think anyone will give any, like... Okay. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, like, hmm. Oh yeah. Yep. Okay. I don't think anyone will like, give any bounty for a uh, like AI. All right. Okay. Oh no. There we go. <laughs> Oh. Damn. Okay. Well, this is a problem. Oh my god, so many of them. Well, time to launch those missiles. Oh my god. 
Yup, you have to use the expensive ones. Yeah, hack it. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, oh, okay. And there it is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. <clears throat> okay. Oh, wait, what happened? Program four before auto is ruined. Supposedly would. Okay, will they get the money? Did they get the bounty? <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> uh, Oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> well, you can't run away from a hacker. Okay, don't crash it. I think it's, it's going to crash. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I said, like, this is going to happen. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kids, animals, and what women? Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Three of them are here. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, so she, okay, the, so Ed is a girl. It was like confusing and everything. Like people were saying, like some some people were saying that like, it's a guy and then like a girl and it, like uh, like the what can i say like uh 
looking at her it felt as if he was a guy like she was a guy but her voice is extremely feminine and so like that kind of like confused me so okay so i'm guessing like she is a girl is a female all right <clears throat> i was thinking like uh, the voice was extremely feminine but like uh, i was kind of confused because like in a lot of animes uh, there are like guys who have like feminine voice and so i was a bit like confused as to who like whether it's she, she was a male or a female okay so we have like um a bounty hunter uh jet i don't know uh, like how ca i should like mention jet but bounty hunter jet uh a, a animal uh, like uh, like smart animal um kind of a thief and a hacker that's the end so yeah it's kind of like a full um like a full like party of like uh, an RPG <laughs> like they're like classes and all and they're like uh, traveling in a spaceship okay um, yeah so this episode uh, we got introduced to a new character Ed radical Ed Edward and oh another thing kind of like threw me off about uh, the gender was like the name Edward or Ed like that's a uh, like uh, male name I'm get isn't it yeah Edward is a like a guy's name so like all of these things kind of like uh, threw me off and uh, I thought like uh, she was a guy but after like hearing her voice and everything uh, like yeah like it felt as if like she was a girl and uh, like as Fav uh, like said uh, in the end like so you're a girl so I'm guessing like uh, it's confirmed that Ed is a girl so I'm going to like uh, like uh, like mention her as a female, like she and her, like all of the pronouns. Because I'm still not quite sure. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so that was this episode. Uh, this was like um, an interesting episode because of like all the hacking and everything. And uh, obviously, like this is a lot in the like uh, in the future, like a lot of years in the future and obviously like hacking and everything are like exist uh, and it's like exist in like such a large scale that we like now cannot like comprehend like uh, like like here's the thing like AIs in a satellite got like self-conscious in this episode like that's a big thing like uh, yeah like like uh, I've seen like AIs in like in a lot of animes like AIs in robots or AIs in uh, like different things like a program or something get like self-conscious but not an AI of a satellite like this is completely new uh, so at first like uh, everyone like, was like thinking like this is hacking obviously because like these are satellites but um, uh, but when like it started talking and everything so I thought like yeah this is a, like a work of an AI or like a somehow like an AI malfunctioned or a AI like grew uh, uh, self-conscious of its own and yeah and uh, and as I was saying like the bounty was <laughs> issued for like hackers like for uh, like a live human not for a like AI program so yeah it's a shame like they again did not get any money for the job they did like uh, they did before but at least like they gained a teammate um, and I'm guessing like Ed would be a lot uh, what can I say helpful and integral for the team because he's a hacker and uh, like I don't think like there was like this portion of the thing was covered before like uh, Jet was good at like uh, like spaceship like uh, doing like uh, repairs and stuff but not into the technical things like hacking or 
like cracking these type of things so like after like getting ed uh, i'm guessing like a lot like the future jobs a lot of the future jobs would get a lot easier and they will be able to like do it more like efficiently because like not like there's now a person who can like hack everything and like uh, like help them to or like for the jobs and everything for the future jobs uh yeah and what else was in this episode uh nothing much it was like more like uh, it like introduced the character ed to us and our cap uh, capabilities and <laughs> like they like <laughs> as always Faye kind of like promised something and <laughs> was like saying like, you don't have to like keep promises promises and <laughs> like promises are called promises because they're meant to be broken so <laughs> okay and so but what can you say like this is like a uh, genius hacker and how she like uh, controlled the uh, police spaceships she did the same thing here and they were unable to escape and because of the promise they have to like accept her <laughs> and as Pike said like the three things that he hates the most are in the ship now <laughs> so yeah <laughs> what can you do okay so yeah guys that was this episode i'm keeping the uh, like uh, discussion sh uh, short because like, i have to like react to the other episode as well so yeah uh, without further ado uh, let's get started with episode number 10 then okay guys uh, i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference let's get started with episode number 10 of kawa Viva. okay so yeah i'll be starting the countdown Three, two, one, go. Okay, so full squad. All of them are like assembled, four of them. And I'm guessing like now we're probably going to like get into the main uh, story after like uh, a few like short stories, I'm guessing, because like this is how it usually happens in animes. Like, uh, unless and until like we get the full squad the actual story does not start so we've got the full squad now and i'm guessing like they'll probably like take one or two more episodes to like uh, introduce ed and like uh, show her and her skills and everything and then we'll probably get into that uh, like main story and storyline or i don't know uh, i don't know if like uh, the anime is like this like uh, standalone episodes like up until now we have seen like standalone episodes like one or two episodes max uh, with one short like short stories and everything so let's see <sighs> okay <sighs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, who is this? <laughs> what the? What the hell is she doing? What? <laughs> what the? <laughs> what is? She? <laughs> I'm just like, what the hell is she doing? That's my job. <laughs> okay. 
Wait, what happened? Oh, backstory? 15. Okay. So they got so that guy was a bounty target. <laughs> well, she's kind of I'm guessing. Uh, okay, bad timing. Oh, he knows. Baker Ontario. Black dog. Oh, she has a good spot. <laughs> oh no. Alisa. Can you meet Elegy? Oh. Sort of text. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> wow, it's like... Just like Earth, like... This is a completely different planet, but... Thinking about it like this, there might be some planets where like which we probably have not found, which is like almost identical to Earth and has like living conditions and everything, water and all. Hmm. <laughs> okay, calm down with the dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. Mutile useless. <laughs> okay. La Farm. Damn, the shop is all broken down and everything.
wait what is like he hiding something What's he doing? Like creeping around? Last customer. Yep, guessing. Hmm. <laughs> mm, I doubt that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, is he like a bounty target? Maybe like Rind, the guy he's talking about. I might be wrong. Okay, I think he is a bounty target. Yep. Okay. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, got a catch. <clears throat> what the hell is that? Oh, wow, the fish or whatever that was. <laughs> oh, what what is that? Made a bet with myself. Leave this plant if you didn't return. By the time the clock stopped. Yeah, the reason.
Simple thing. What? Oh, Spike is here? Or not? And there he is. Oh my god, that lighter is... Oh, I think, so he like shot someone? Is that the reason why he has a bounty on his head? Okay. Okay, calm down. Yeah, so uh, I was correct. Like, this is because, like, something. Okay. And uh, missed. Oh no! He 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 caught like he saw them. Wow. Hmm. And there it is. Okay. Uh, a pistol can do anything. That won't work. Uh, oh, and uh, okay. Oh, oh no, oh no, is <laughs> missed by a hair's breadth. Mm. Oh. Oh boy. Okay.
Damn, he has he can like handle a ship good. Okay. Okay. And got him. The one thing I am like concerned about like they don't commit suicide or something. Like, like the same thing happened before in the first episode. Oh no, I'm... What's going to happen now? Okay. Okay. Mm, yeah, that is kind of like true. Oh. So I'm guessing like Jet like pushed his like own choices and everything on her. So, escaped or like were they? Oh, they caught him. Yeah, like, uh, like this is kind of like the what can I say? Uh, correct thing they did. Because like if they kept running, his sentence would have like gotten like more. It would have get gotten in a more messier situation. And he might have like gotten killed by some of the like any bounty hunters and all. Okay. Well, that was this episode. Okay, so yeah, uh at the beginning, I was kind of like thinking like uh, Jet should like let them go away. Uh, like as she said, like this is just one bounty. Like there are a lot of more bounties you can like go for. But when what Jet did and what Jet said later on, 
after like thinking about it uh his decision and like the thing that he did was correct because like thinking about it like it is like like thank god like this was like like jet took the bounty if it was not jet or someone else like uh, like some other bounty hunter he might have like gotten killed at all of these those like things so the correct thing is to like like he did it as a self defense as he said and so the correct thing to do is like go to the prison like serve your sentence then come back fresh with a clean slate otherwise like he like would have like gotten killed like running away like this so yeah jet was correct like jet did the like correct thing here otherwise like like running away is not a uh, like uh, uh, what can I say uh, solution to stuff like this like they would always be uh, like running away from one uh, like uh, what can I say one place to another place and another place like they wouldn't have like gotten any like easy like uh, like they wouldn't have gotten any like mm, they wouldn't be able to like outrun their <coughs> people who are like chasing them and the bounty hunters everything and this also might like ruin the relationship in the future because like uh, like that's not the correct uh, way and Jed did a good thing and I was kind of like thinking like why is like Jed like chasing them and like why don't he let them go but yeah thinking about it now he did the correct thing and uh, like the thing that would like help them in the long run because like like just think about it like if they keep running away some other like bounty hunter will take uh, note of them they'll again run away from one place to another place and another place this will like increase the stress levels in them and like their relationship will like get like uh, hampered as well and finally like the like the thing that happened in the first episode if you guys remember like like it's like a lot like similar situation what happened there was like because like they were running away and everything their relationship kind of like got stressful uh, even though like the guy was kind of correct the guy like went into drugs and everything started doing drugs and the whole relationship got ruined and ultimately like they got killed same thing could have happened here but that did the correct thing got them and gave them to the authorities uh, and asked like um, like uh, like it's on self defense so they'll she'll probably like get less uh sentence and ask like uh the girl to wait for him the girl will wait for him and he'll come back with a clean slate and like uh, everything like new and they can like start uh a new like uh, start everything from new and fresh and yeah this is the correct way to do like running away is not an option at least in this like context and a lot of context running away is the option i'm not saying like run you should not run away <laughs> like there are like animals and like uh, a lot of things like uh, shows where like they say like running away is for cowards we should not run away we should always like stand uh, no that's not correct always there are definitely like times when you should run away and you should definitely run away but in this context running away is not an option and running away is not the thing that they should have done and because that will like ruin the relationship the life everything in the long run yeah and okay so this episode uh so uh as the girl said like she said something about like uh i'm guessing like jet kind of like pushed his own choices own decisions on her and that kind of made her like uh, feel as if like trapped in a cage or something that's why like she <coughs> left him and like it's not jet's fault because there are people who like this is like a habit like uh, there are like some people who think like yeah let me do everything for him or her let me like take the reins let me like uh, push my own uh, like things on him or her and if the like other person the recipient who is like receiving all of this 
is not someone who like there are like different type of people like for example just uh, let me like take uh, like uh, another example like if like this was not the girl or someone else if jet was with like someone else not this girl uh, who would is more what can i say uh who like lets people to like uh, i'm unable to like um uh, what can i say explain myself properly uh, like i'm saying like people are with like different type of what can i say habits behaviors like different type of personalities and everything and there are also like people who kind of like let the other one like leave everything on the other people person and is happy with like doing whatever he or she tells him to do and is like happy and that person is not like uh, comfortable like taking the reins himself or herself and if like jet was with with one such girl it would have been all okay because like jet would have been like the one to like do everything like put push everything on him or her and he uh, uh, push everything on her and the girl would probably like uh, prefer that over like doing something himself but uh, herself but the like the thing is like uh, this girl i i I'm, for, I'm forgetting her name was not someone who like appreciated that because obviously she is like her uh, personality is not like that so she kind of got tired she kind of got um what can i say uh, like uh, like yeah tired and did not like that of day after day so yeah so that's why like she left him and like there's nothing like you can do about it because like this is just like like a personality thing like the different type of people different type of like way they do stuff and all and jet is one of like th th those type of people i'm guessing it is something like that because the girl said like uh you did not like ever uh, like this is like just like she said something like uh what did she say uh, just a sec yeah uh, all i had to do was hang on to your arm like a child with no cares in the world like this like this uh, sentence like she was not someone who would be like comfortable with that like with everything like the other one uh, like saying everything that you do this you do th that everything will be okay with that she was not a type of person who is comfortable with that but there are people were comfortable with this so like this is just like a uh, mismatch of their what can i say personalities mismatch uh, mismatch of their like uh, yeah personalities and that's the main thing like they were like both uh, positive let's take like they were like both positive charges and they kind of repelled each other if like uh, like if jet was positive and this girl was also positive they came together and they repelled each other if the girl was negative or jet was negative either one of them then it would have been okay like that's the that's why it is said like opposites attract each other and like uh, like the same uh, charges usually repel each other it's not the case always like there are also like a lot of uh, like people who are like the same in personality same in like characters but they still like are attracted to each other but it usually is not that case because like you've obviously like the one person would always like look for the thing that he or she lacks in her uh, in his or her uh, partner and yeah and this kind this is like just bad luck bad everything like something that no one could have done anything about unless and until like jet uh, changed his personality or like the, the way he does things and i'm guessing like jet kind of like uh, got to learn a lesson and he would probably like uh, think about the other person before like uh, like pushing everything on him or her and this will like uh, come in handy uh, later on uh, at least uh, like when he is like interacting with other people now he will like think that yeah like i should also like think uh, on their perspective and yeah so as it is said what doesn't kill you makes you stronger just like that yeah so this is something a mistake that he made and this will make him stronger in the future okay so yeah that was basically this episode and 
that was like uh, what can i say like this episode and the first episode are like ex- like the two sh- like uh, outcomes what could have happened like the first episode i can still remember what happened like they were all like it's a similar thing and that was why also i kind of thought like maybe like this will like end with like the first episode did like she killed him herself and the guy was also became like also went like became dead and i was thinking like maybe like the this will also like um, become like that and like she'll commit suicide or something but thankfully it did not happen like that and like this is like the difference between the outcomes of two and uh, at that time like they were too far gone and uh, like in this episode they had still they still had time and they had time to redeem themselves and like go in the like start walking on the correct path and jet like uh like made them see the correct path and led them to it and helped them go that way and and i'm like i'm sure about this that after this guy like comes back from uh, prison ser- after serving his sentence they'll have like a more like better relationship than they would have had if they were like running away always so this is like a good a good outcome and i did not uh, like i was kind of like uh, skeptical about it at the beginning but after like seeing the ending i'm 100% correct that this is the best outcome and like uh, jet did the correct thing uh, like handing him over to the authorities so yeah guys so yeah guys that was this episode this was episode number 10 of cowboy beep up if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and uh, comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share about this episode anything in general i'll be sure to check check them out so yeah guys i'll be back with two new episodes of cargo bpop next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day